Well, it's not for me to predict. Um, the only thing I can do, which is what I want to do, is offer an option for the people of Gibraltar, especially in these times when opposition is in such disarray. I believe there is an appetite for something new, and I believe that there is a need for um, Gibraltar to provide a constructive and solid opposition moving forward, and that is what I aim to provide for the people of Gibraltar. What would you say to the argument that you should step down and stand for re-election as an independent candidate? I would say that, firstly, if you look at the Parliament Act, it's clear that you get voted in by name. And therefore, I have no problems with my conscience remaining in my seat, primarily because I work very, very hard for the people of Gibraltar, because I'm constantly, daily, inundated with constituents who I see, who I listen to, who I serve, who I then interact with government in order to help many vulnerable and needy citizens of our society. And it would be in my conscience, I wouldn't be able to sleep right if I didn't serve these people and if I left um, my duties as an opposition member who is clearly busy and in need, especially in a time right now when the opposition itself is completely fragmented. I don't want to give up on the people who seek my help. You've stated you're forming a new movement. Are you approaching people towards this? I have been approaching people and people have been approaching me precisely because they feel that there is this big void in Gibraltar and Gibraltar needs a solid and constructive opposition and a government in waiting. Don't forget that this government will not be governing forever. It's, it's, na it's a natural fact that their time will come. And where will Gibraltar be when, when, when their time comes? Gibraltar solely needs an alternative. So I am building a collective which is a voice for change in a unified way at a grassroots and political level in order to engage with people in constructive ideas and visions for the future of Gibraltar. It's much broader than a political party what we're working on. We're working on, on a collective on a movement in order to gauge what is needed in Gibraltar, what people want on, on, on the basis of values which are egalitarian um, and progressive and transparent at a time, like I said, when Gibraltar needs it the most. Can you give us any names? Um, I'm not at liberty to say at the moment, but very soon you will be hearing news that we are coming out as a collective and we will, we will be providing this option for the people of Gibraltar moving forward and from there we will take the view as to how much appetite there is in order to move forward to the next electoral campaign. What is the political ethos or ideology you envision for the movement? Well, the fact that you've had mainly two parties in government for the last 20 odd years and they have been, there has been so much antagonism between the two sides that I think moving forward to the 21st century we need, and with Brexit and all the other things that are going on in Gibraltar in our economy diplomatically, we need a, a, a unified vision for the 21st century, something that captivates the hopes of Gibraltar's electorate and especially the new generation which very much feels disenfranchised with the current political climate and deserves a new voice, a voice of reason, a voice of collaboration, a voice of unity, a voice with, with progressive and new ideas for Gibraltar. Would you be the leader? I, I, I'm not here to to get uh, into power. I'm here to provide an option and if it becomes clear and apparent within that option and within this collective that I am wanted as the leader, I will be there for the people of Gibraltar because that is what they want. But if another candidate came along who clearly can galvanize and capture people's uh, imaginations and expectations or needs better than me, then I would gladly uh, move over for that person. This is not about me. This is about a movement and, and the need for a new political project for Gibraltar. And is there a time frame by which we can expect details on the new movement? Um, within the next quarter, you should be listening and hearing to our, our message and our project.